A master model design is a workflow that defines key geometry or spatial relationships between parts using simplified sketches or space allocation parts. These elements drive the design and are known as the master model. The master models that define the key aspects of a design are often kept in a single, easily identifiable location, such as the only features or part in a Part Studio tab, or even in its own document. There are three major data types that can be utilized with a master model workflow, driving parameters, space allocation, and layout sketches. Driving parameters define variables to quickly modify the design's critical dimensions. Space allocation parts provide a way to define a part or assembly limits and are very useful when defining a volume or enclosure. Layout sketches provide a variety of ways to define an assembly or part, which include make connector locations, interconnecting parts not created in the same part studio, and assembly spatial relationships. Each of these master models are discussed in future videos. With key aspects of a design and a single identifiable location, master models allow for easier tracking and management of design contributions. Master model workflows improve performance, reduce rebuild time, and can be used to update design aspects across part studios, assemblies, and documents. Master model workflows provide a multitude of robust benefits. This workflow is great to design parts in separate part studios, but ensuring they fit together properly when assembled. This workflow also potentially increases the document performance, since typically there are less features in each part studio or even allows you to add more detail without adding significantly more rebuild time. Since the overall design is driven from the master model, it is easy to update and the changes propagate to the parts and assemblies. This is the true power of the master model. This course explores different master model techniques, including understanding how to design sketches and space allocation parts using variables, how to drive part geometry and assembly design using the master model, and where to keep the master model data.